My name is Josephine De Leon. Of course, now my last name is Montoya because I married one. Uh, I grew up in Denver, Colorado, um, on 10th Street, which is now a part of the Auraria campus. So my entire uh, community is gone. On 10th Street and 9th Street, um, the majority of that community was Mexican-American. And it was really a great place to be because I had so many cousins. My oldest brother worked at the corner store, which is now the mercantile of Auraria campus. My uncle lived on 9th Street, where um, when we were younger, uh, one of the kids started a fire uh, accidentally on the second floor. And because of that, when the city bought his home, uh, they actually had to condemn it because it wasn't uh, original. And now, when you walk through the campus, there is a fountain on 9th Street, and that's where my uncle's home was. He initially didn't want to sell his home. He wanted to raise his family there, and it took, he I guess they call him a holdout, because he waited, and he was one of the last people to accept a buyout. But I loved grew, growing up there. We had family gatherings all the time. So many cousins were there to um, it, just share uh, a bonding uh, in our upbringing. I loved all of my cousins. I would fight with my brothers. I grew up in the midst of five of them. <laughs> um, my oldest sister was seven years older and didn't really want to be bothered by me, so I grew up a tomboy. But we had uh, big trees. Um, St. Elizabeth was across the street from us. We'd go over there when school was out and play on the playground. Uh, or we rode bikes around the neighborhood. Uh, my parents never had to worry about us because all of the neighbors knew everyone's children, so um, if we did something wrong, we were, we were called out on it, and our parents found out. It was really a wonderful time and a place to grow up. When I think back about um, my uncle's home and how uh, it did burn in a fire, but um, he restored that. When Denver came in to um, finally persuade him to sell his property, they had to demolish it, and in its place, they created this fountain. Now, the only time that I ever went back was when, uh, as an adult, I went back to school. I started at community college and continued at Metro, and I held a job there on 9th Street at the president's office. And so I walked 9th Street up and down from the south uh, campus building all the way to the, um, to the community, which used to be uh, the church, uh, St. Cachetan's. But I would always walk by the fountain on 9th Street because that is where my uncle's family home was. The Raria campus uh, really holds a special place in my heart because um, not only did I grow up in that neighborhood, but uh, when I sat by the fountain, and just reflect on uh, the 
classes I went to and and just the memories of that whole area because that was my home. That's where I grew up. That's where I loved being with family. The most important aspect of my life has always been centered on family, love, loyalty, respect. That's where I learned all those things. And then I got my bachelor's degree in human services. It's not a coincidence. It all comes, it all stems from how we were raised as a very tight-knit family, a Mexican-American family in Denver, Colorado.